Before I start this video, I just want you to know that I currently have a fundraiser going on for my 18th birthday. It's going to a volunteer-ran suicide prevention charity here in Derry, Foil Search and Rescue, and it is completely public donation-ran, so it's very important. And I would really appreciate if you could donate to it. It could be my birthday present. But seriously, it's going to an amazing place. So please check that out. It's linked at the top of the pinned comment and in the description. Let's get into this video, because we got to talk about Tan and Mojo, and I am literally like... We say every single week on my channel, right? The lowest is what for Tana? What? What is the lowest? What is the... Zero. That was what you said, you know. I'm trying to do public participation, you know what I mean? But the lowest is literally zero. I've been saying it since July on this channel that each week she says something that's gonna happen. It never happens. And then two months later, it happens. Right? And you would think, with someone who's getting called out for doing that pattern of behavior so much that she'd be like, fuck, they're catching on, let me not do that. No, it seems to almost make her want to do it more, because she gets the drama channels talking, she gets the commentary channels talking, she gets Insider and all those journalist people talking, and she gets Twitter talking, so I think that's what she wants, because then she plugs her OnlyFans and she's like, ah, I make so much money on OnlyFans, and we're like, so are we not getting what you promised? And here's another instance of that. People were like, stop coming after Tana, she's changed, she did her apology video. Well, now we can actually one-up you, because she said that she was going to be making a video addressing the apology video and coming back to YouTube with multiple videos this week. As in, this, we're on Sunday, <laughs> the week's over, and it's not happened. So unless Miss Tanano Mongo posts like four videos today, Sunday, she's broken her promise again. Now keep in mind, this was justifying, her way of justifying, her reasoning for being gone again. Because she posted this video, then went on another break because the video was so badly received. A long overdue apology, it was called, it has over 100,000, 100,000, dislikes, not received well at all. People said she was emotionless, sounded like a robot, and she came on that day and said, Yep, I did, but I need to do this video without showing emotion. I've already said my issues with that, but I just want to, for reference, watch what she promised was going to happen this week. Another dead-ass promise by this girl. Either Tana is very forgetful, or she has the worst management in the world who don't tell her, hey, you're supposed to do this. Maybe a bit of both. Okay. From her mouth, she posted this at the very start of the week, talking about this week. What's up guys? I thought I would hop on Snapchat and be sentimental for eight seconds, but um, I'm editing something for Tana Uncensored right now, doing a voiceover back on my YouTube editing grind, and I'm so happy to finally be back doing this. And I She's so happy to be back doing this. Okay, girl. Show us. Come on. Don't be shy. Put some more, babe. Or at least put some fucking anything. Oh my god, lord! You guys know I took a very long break from YouTube just because I really felt like I wasn't in the mental place to be a person that everyone knows and loves and I really had to get back knows to that. So I'm finally editing content again. And this Editing week, content? Oh my god, multiple! I have a lot of YouTube videos. This week she has a lot of YouTube videos coming! Girl, now come on, don't be shy! Pass it over! Now I'm telling you, she can upload a video today Still not good enough. She said multiple videos. Do you hear this? Back to that song. Finally, editing content again. And this week, I have a lot of YouTube videos filming. Of one of them being addressing the response to my apology video. Didn't happen. I mean, it could happen today, but where's the other ones? You know what I mean? There's so many false pro. Let's get through this. Sorry. Know about my life because I miss being on that level where you knew everything about my life. Girl, then why did you lie again about coming back? and just gave you a really raw and honest life update and I'm sure it will arise a thousand more questions and a thousand more Girl, at least give us it so we can fucking ask the questions Right? Lord! Things, but that's okay, that's a part of this journey and this Girl, at least start the journey, please You know what I mean? This is the first step to getting that out there, so that is coming That's the first step to getting it out there Girl! How are you not doing the first step? Get it out there, you just said it! Coming ASAP. It's coming ASAP. I'm gonna get more naked, but... So it's coming ASAP, multiple videos, loads of content on YouTube, including a video of her addressing... the apology and the train wreck of it. How is she lying again?! 
I don't know how slow of an editor she is. If she posted this at the start of the week, editing, and by Sunday it's not ready, what's going on? <coughs> Girl, what is going on? I edit six videos a day. What is going on? Do you need to hire me? Like, what's going on, Tana? Jordan, her manager, you, what are you doing? Are you not keeping a record of what she's saying? So you're like, ah, you lied. Or, ah, you need to do this. Where is the management? Where is the PR? Where is the caring? Where is the precision? Where is the fucking human decency? Jesus Christ, holy shit. And here's the thing as well, when a YouTuber normally posts an apology video, everyone says, oh my god, I see growth, or I don't see growth, but I need to see what their next move is so I can see the growth. Okay, so by that logic, Tana posts her video, say you don't like it, but you're like, ah, I'm going to see her next move. And then she says her next move, and it seems very promising, she's going to post multiple videos again on YouTube in one week, one of them being addressing the backlash of the apology video with multiple questions, and then she knows and is ready for getting multiple questions back, and she's ready to answer them again, and you're like, very promising, and then she doesn't follow through with it. Because I saw so many Tana fan accounts being like, stop hating on her because she's coming back this week to address the hate. Girl, even if she does at this level, where's the other videos? Like, I don't understand why you would lie about something like that, because she's setting herself up, right? Uploading multiple videos when you're Tana Mojo is a lot, because she doesn't really upload a lot of content in general, but like, I don't know why she felt the need to lie about that. Now, unless she pulls a Trisha Paytas on us today and uploads 32 videos in one day, girl, that's something I would do, you know what I mean? Like, then I, I don't see why she had to lie to her audience and be like, multiple videos again on YouTube this week. Yeah, including one video addressing the backlash. <laughs> Pass it over. So I asked my subscribers, I said, it's currently the end of the week, which means Tana Moju lied again about coming back to YouTube and addressing her apology video backlash. She said at the start of the week, she'd be coming back and posting multiple videos, and one including, this was all supposed to be this, <laughs> this week, and one including the apology backlash. Let's talk about this recurring behavior. It's like dot dot dot. What's going on? Devin said, nobody's gonna believe her apologies anymore. They aren't sincere. Well, no one's gonna see them. We're probably gonna have to wait another 72 business days to actually, you know, get to that point. But I don't know why she just had to lie about that. Jules Rose said, and I'm done with Tana. Like, I think she just does this when it's a good time for her. AKA when she's not partying. Oops, sorry, had to call it a gathering, Tana. Yeah, you know the way she went to Jake Paul's house for a gathering and then she was seen partying and then they were like, and then she was like, I was at a meeting. Hmm. <laughs> Girl, get home and edit. <laughs> Sally K said, at this point, should we be surprised, Adam? I'd be more shocked if she properly apologized to Colin and Nessa and stop going to gatherings, aka spreading COVID. I want to say she has worms for brains, but that would be insulting to worms. Bella said, Tana, give it up, please, girl. We are begging at this rate. She could have so easily just not done that. You know what I mean? She could have just so easily not lied about it. Can we just watch it one more time? Sorry, bear with me. What's up, guys? I thought I would hop on Snapchat and be sentimental for eight seconds, but um, I'm editing some- Maybe she needed money or people to watch her videos from like, her older on ones, I don't know. YouTube editing grind, and I'm so happy to find What a bad grind, this. slow grind. It's like- I took a very long break from YouTube just because I really felt like I wasn't in the mental place to be a person that everyone knows and loves and I really had to get back to that so I'm finally editing content again and this week I have a lot of YouTube videos coming one of them being addressing the response to my apology video know about my life because I miss being on that level where you can we talk about how she poses at the end of doing these videos she goes talking about my life look at this video <laughs> she posed about my life because I miss being on that level where you knew everything about my life and just gave Girl, me we do. through other people's Instagram stories of you parties. I'm sure it will arise a thousand more questions and a thousand more things, but that's okay. That's a part of this journey, and this is the first journey. step to getting that Girl, out there. So we not on a journey. Asap. You are. I'm gonna get more negative. Look, she did it again. And this is the first step to getting that out there. So that is coming ASAP. Girl, why is she posing at the end of these? I'm gonna get more negative, but okay, anyway. what's up, guys? very clear she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Sydney said, knowing Tana, she probably slept through this whole week and never even thought about making anything. 
Girls probably on her 16th hour of sleep right now. Sleep well, queen. Audrey said, this is why I have the attitude of, I'll believe it when I see it. I need to start having that too. I keep being disappointed whenever my expectations are already astronomically low. Devin said, she said she's filming all week, so maybe she'll upload in six to eight business weeks. <laughs> Red Foreman said, it's taken her weeks to plan out an apology. Y'all expect her to come up with more than one excuse a week? Sis needs at least two more weeks. <laughs> Owen said she's just trolling her own fans at this stage. I think that's what this is. Is this a social experiment, Anna? Is this another MTV show? Coral said she needs to stop with these apology videos. Jesus Christ. And by the way, Tana, this time shame will be able to save you. No crying documentary here. Documentary. Naomi said she has a different time concept to everyone else, it seems. We all know her saying she's coming back to YouTube means she'll be back in a couple months. <laughs> Katie said she genuinely shouldn't even bother apologizing anymore. Just let her carry on being reckless. At this point, the behavior is sincere. You guys asked for an apology and she gave you a robotic vague video. I don't know what you can expect anymore. Yellow said she obviously doesn't have a good memory of telling the truth. So obviously she forgot what she said. But I thought she was editing. Do y'all ever think about the fact Tana Mojo won creator of the year? Isn't that wild? Tana. <laughs> Gave her the creator of the year award. <laughs> Sorry. This is quite funny actually. One of those like mean girl moments where I should like break it off and give it to everybody who actually deserves <laughs> it. Because I don't deserve this at all. I'm like, I don't feel like creator of the year. I'm. Uh, well, she's self aware. <laughs> never felt like creator of the year. I feel like the, the misfit, the outcast, the fuck. Okay, let's be done with that. <laughs> this video announcing that she's creator of the year has 32,000 dislikes and 8,000 likes. Okay guys, what's your opinion on Tana Mojo continuing to do these false like narratives and running with them? Like, just lying. That's what it is at this point. Straight up lying to her own audience. Like, not even to us anymore. Her audience. What's she gaining from this? She could have just so easily told them no. But again, if she uploads a video today, like after, say I fucking upload this video at 10 o'clock and she uploads her video at 10.01. She's still lied because she hasn't uploaded multiple videos and hasn't been coming back on the grind, you know, that fucking slow ass grind. Girl, give it up. Give it up. Okay, what's your opinion on this? What do you think about Chana being creator of the year? <laughs> it's quite funny. And what do you think about her just continuing to not change? I mean, should we expect her to change at this point? I feel like this is her, right? Let me know. Let's talk about it. I'll see you. Bye.